As we've been reporting, the state of Ohio will be suing a major loan servicer for fraud related to foreclosures. Ohio Attorney General Richard Cordray announcing about an hour ago that his state will be suing Ally Financial and its GMAC mortgage unit for allegedly using false documents to foreclose on homeowners. Attorney General Cordray joining us now from Cleveland. Uh, General Cordray, great to have you here with Matt and myself. Uh, bottom line, um, these foreclosing for major loan services, forgive me, um, you they were at fault. You have no doubt in your view, or you're not sure. Uh, well, everything that we have seen indicates that there may have been thousands of cases where they systematically defrauded the court by filing affidavits under oath that claimed personal knowledge where the signer did not have that knowledge. In an individual case, if an attorney filed a false affidavit, that would be uh, re result in swift and severe sanctions, disciplinary uh, misconduct, and so forth. The fact that this may have been done on a mass scale is pretty breathtaking to us. And, and do you see this problem, uh, Mr. Attorney? General ballooning further because it has grown from uh, we heard of one instance first now we're hearing of many more banks and uh, many more situations where this has happened do you think it's a, a nationwide epidemic we suspect that this was the uh, going uh, pattern in the industry over the last several years with the large mortgage servicers who were trying to cut corners. Uh, we're at the beginning of our inquiry, not at the middle or the end, and so we will see where all it leads. But already there have been three different financial institutions implicated in this practice, and we suspect there are more. What happened to the homeowners in this case who may have, been unfair, who may have unfairly lost their homes as a result of this process? First of all, it's a pretty important uh, matter in this country that the courts properly handle private property rights. People get very upset about that. It's a fundamental constitutional right to own property and to have all the processes followed if you're going to be divested of that property. Uh, having said that, some of the equities here are muddled if homeowners did fall behind, if they did default on mortgages, they didn't keep up their payments. Uh, not entirely clear what the right result is in every case, but nobody can dispute that it is the wrong thing for someone to go in and use the courts with false affidavits to get their way, that's not appropriate. That's not consistent with the rule of law in the United States of America. Is, is there going to be a problem then? Because we have millions of foreclosures uh, sort of waiting to go through the process. Uh, and, it, and with this kind of action, you, you tend to put a little bit more, uh, well, you put a more, more work on the banks that have to do it. Uh, I think there is a problem, and, and we have a problem right now that processes that are basic uh, to the court system are not being followed. Uh, as to what the banks will need to do to sort this out, uh, that remains to be seen. But I don't think we can have foreclosures going through that take people's property away based on false and phony affidavits, even though this is being done on a mass scale. That doesn't make it right. That actually makes it more wrong, in our view. The harder question will be what to do about properties that were already foreclosed on, and they've changed hands and we may be several years down the road and we may find that they were uh, they were uh, divested of their property uh, under false circumstances as well that's going to be a tougher issue for the courts to sort out do you expect the institutions against whom you're bringing suit to halt all foreclosure proceedings until they until they know exactly the correct procedure uh, how to go forward or do you think they know the correct procedure on going forward but they just haven't followed it we're trying to be careful not to overreach. What we've asked the court today is to halt all foreclosures uh, involving uh, GMAC uh, that involve robo-signed affidavits, and it will take some effort to sort that out. Uh, if they were doing that in every case, then it will halt every foreclosure. And if so, that's the bed they made. They'll have to lie in it. Uh, we're trying to uh, look carefully now at some of the other institutions that have been implicated and others that have not yet been implicated but may well have engaged in the same practices. As I said, we're at the beginning of a very large inquiry, and there's going to be a lot of states uh, pursuing relief, I'm quite sure. It is, Mr. Attorney General, just the beginning. Let me ask you, though, do you think there's going to be a criminal investigation of Ally and some other lenders here, ultimately? Uh, I think that uh, every option is on the table. We have not announced anything in that regard today, but there are a lot of folks looking at that, including the Justice Department, as I understand. Uh, and I think that if people deliberately filed false papers in a court and they did it on a systematic basis, that could well be criminal misconduct, absolutely. Based on the information you have right now, we've just got a few seconds, do you feel like that they did do that indeed? I know it's early, but your gut, what is it telling you? I don't want to... Uh, uh, 
draw conclusions from my gut. We're going to have evidence and we're going to have discovery in these cases and we're going to sort it out under a court's supervision. That's the right way to go. We want those processes to be fair and, and accurate and not what we have seen, which is slipshod and, uh, and really not complying with due process of law in this country. All right, Attorney General Richard Cordray, thanks so much for spending some time with us from the great state of Ohio on a very serious matter. All right.